Oddly enough, um, I was uh, on the staff of UCLA uh, back in the 60s, and I gave the first class at UCLA because one of my jobs at UCLA was to develop the curriculum for the uh, new students coming aboard and also the dental school itself. And so I, I was um, fortunate to, begin, uh, to give the first lecture on mercury fillings that the students had. And in my research, I uncovered that mercury was a concern. In fact, in 19, uh, 1848, it was uh, considered illegal to use mercury, unethical. Uh, the then union of, of uh, dentistry was the American College of Dental Surgeons, and it was like the analogous to the ADA. And that group of bodies said it was illegal or unethical to use mercury because of its toxic concerns. But then there was no alternative that, that was able to be used. So dentists got together and began using mercury fillings because it was more economical. And indeed, there was a serious problem because what are you going to use? You can't use gold. Most people couldn't afford gold. And even the gold techniques were not refined as they are today. So there was no option, no uh, alternative. Uh, so the, this group of dentists began to use mercury fillings. And that group grew and became the American Dental Association. So the American Dental Association has had its formation on the utilization of mercury fillings, which is ironic, of course. A body of evidence that would say, hey, you're, you're using this potentially lethal material while dentists were, were teaching, and I was one of the ones who were taught who then taught that mercury was inert when you mixed with silver, tin, zinc, and copper, of which consists of the mercury filling or the amalgam or the silver filling. It's really a mercury filling because 50% of it's mercury. And if you mix it with silver, tin, zinc, and copper, we taught that it was inert, which is a scientific impossibility because everything by the laws of entropy is in the process of decay. And in the case of the dental mercury filling, the decay is quite, uh, quite prominent.